A dystopian future where justice is dispatched with violence from law enforcement personnel known as judges. So what's not to love about Judge Dredd then? Uh oh, hold up. It says here that in this setting, sugar is banned? That's looking like 25 to life for me in an isopod then. We are less than 30 seconds in and I already know that I'm gonna be playing the role of the gangs trying to get that sweet, sweet sugar and not the hot fuzz. This is the starter set for the Judge Dread miniature game from Warlord Games. It has everything that I'll need to get started, like the rule book, the minis and the components. But before I begin playing, I want mine to look a little prettier with some paint. So I'm going to do this in two parts. Part one is I'm going to open the starter set and put some paint on the minis. And in part two, I really want to roll some dice. So I'm going to lure someone in to play a game or two with me. My goal with painting is to get some really cool looking models, but this is a starter set for people that are just beginning in the game or even beginning in the hobby. So I have two main goals this time around. I want to be able to paint them quickly and I want to use basic techniques while I do it. This way, if you're gun shy about mini painting, you get to follow along as we dive straight in. And I'll be using a set of 24 speed paints from the Army Painter, which as you'll discover, is a really easy and effective way of painting minis if you're just starting out. I've prepared my minis for painting by spraying them with a black colored primer and then using a white colored primer, I aim down on each model and give it a short press to create this gentle white coat on all of the raised areas. I'm doing this because now when I apply a speed paint over the top, there will be layers of highlights built in for free after one quick pass to the brush. This is a fast and effective way to use your speed paints to get a great result. I'm starting with what has to be the most exciting models in the starter box, the intimidating street judges. I'm using a wet palette whilst I'm batch painting several models so that I can bounce back and forth between colours and now my colours won't dry out. For brushes, I don't need to spend big and a starter set like this one from the Army Painter will be effective for a beginner painter like me. I've started with their blue uniforms because this area is the recess part of the model and by painting this first, I don't have to try and reach into some of those tricky areas later and risk bumping my brush against decorations and armor panels that have already been painted. I'm following the box art for the judges so they are recognizable to my friends when they come over to roll some dice. I found that the key for painting with speed paints like these from Army Painter is to forget some of our older fashioned principles of painting about having a small amount of paint on the brush and working it in with glazing and other techniques. Here we instead should be comfortable with loading our brush up with the paint, applying it to the model in a single thick coat, and then allowing it to settle across the surface and into the recess, almost like a wash, and then let it dry. This is the speed paint that I'm most suspicious about, a metallic color. In my head, this is cool in theory, but shouldn't really work in practice, so I'm a bit nervous here. Madness. This gold is going on really smooth, and I'm so happy with this. I was preparing for the fact that I may have to jump back to regular metallic paints, but this is acting the same as the other speed paints. It acts very similar to the airbrush metallic from Vallejo, which I've been recently using for my other base coats. Street judges are a combination of cop, judge, jury, and if need be, executioner. They need to be beyond reproach, but if any of them should have their integrity compromised in the unforgiving Mega City one, then the whole system can fall apart. Whilst editing this video, I watched the 95 Judge Dread film with Stallone because I wanted the nostalgia, and apparently the self-punishment, and I also watched the 2012 Dread film. These have been putting me in the mood, but I've now started listening to the Judge Dread Year One Omnibus as an audiobook, and I am hooked. I'm hooked on the lore of this universe, and I want to create my own piece of it. I quickly knock out the rest of the model's features with a handful of other colors, and now I want to add some extra character to the metal areas like the weapons and the armor. I create a simple and effective wash by taking their grim black and mixing it with a few drops of speed paint medium. I've transformed this from a speed paint into a wash, and as I paint this over the Lawgiver pistol, rather than it painting the weapon black, 
the black acts as an ink and falls into the recess areas making them darker. Same for the gold, but instead of black, we can create warmth by using warrior skin brown. Now the armour looks more ornate and golden. I've mixed some blue and black together and painted street rubble on the bases to reflect the crumbling hab blocks they are operating in, but it's time to grab some bright colours and paint my gang. I want to create my own gangs with background stories and I want to create my own senior and rookie street judges with their own unique character traits. This has to be my favourite part of skirmish minigames like this, as I can let my imagination take me on a ride. A mixture of different skin tones are available in this set and it creates some interest in my gang. This gang adorns themselves with bright colours because they aren't scared of the judges and they want to be able to stand out in a crowd to intimidate the other Hablock inhabitants as well. I'm hoping to play a couple of games against Gordon and I'm confident he will want to play the role of the street judges. So I'll break out some bright coloured mohawks and short shorts to suit my brazen playstyle. They will be known as the High Rollers Block Gang, and in our scenario to come, they are focused on expanding their empire of stimulant trafficking across multiple sectors. The gangs operate from their residential blocks, known as Mega Blocks, which can be hundreds of stories high, and their sale of narcotics and banned substances can happen at street level and inside the many back alleys and dive bars. After each model has been afforded some interesting colour, I resort back to a handful of weathered looking browns for the remainder of the clothes to represent that they are still relying on whatever they can scrounge to replace damaged attire. When your goal is to open a fun starter set like this and just get to gaming with your family or mates, you can see how easy it is to take them from the plain grey plastic to having these interesting and thematic colours in around an hour or two. Back to metallics and the homemade wash and the models are completed. You just need to have nice detailed models like these Judge Dread minis from Warlord Games and the right products like the brushes and speed paints from the Army Painter. So thank you to both of those companies for coming together for this video to help me showcase this for you. For those that are interested in Judge Dread or just want to see a fun narrative game, well you're in luck because Gordon was just as excited and he's made his way over to roll some dice. That video will come up in a week's time, and if you enjoy it, I may just be able to talk him into some more. You can let me know below by commenting, or if you're a bit socially hesitant like me, you can click the like button. Tell me if you've enjoyed me winding back the intensity on this painting video and showing you a method of painting board game or tabletop minis quickly. I'll include some links to both Warlord Games for Judge Dread Minis and the Army Painter for painting products like these speed paints. Neither are paid sponsors, but they did send me these products to take a look at, and if I find things I enjoy in the hobby, I'll pass that info on to you guys. Thank you so much to each of you for watching through to the end of the video. Our paid channel membership has taken off over the last month, and with over 10,000 subscribers, I'm so fortunate to have each of your support. You can come join us in the members section of the channel if you'd like, but either way, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.